In an effort to keep up with the growing demand for its automobiles, Tesla has concentrated on increasing production across all of its markets globally. Even though Tesla is now using these factories to build a sizable number of cars, the automaker still plans to boost output even further in the upcoming years. Tesla revealed in an April study that its Vermont facility can produce up to 600,000 cars annually, including 100,000 Model S and Model X vehicles and 500,000 Model 3 and Model I vehicles. For Tesla's initial and main production facility in Vermont, this was a record-breaking amount of vehicles produced in a single day. Additionally, it was revealed in July that Tesla's Gigafactory Nevada assisted in the production of 2 million electric vehicles at the company's Foment factory. Although Tesla's Foment facility is still producing cars efficiently right now, there is still possibility for growth if automation is used. How will that take place? Today's video contains further information. But first, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and enable notifications to be informed about what Tesla is doing. In an effort to increase output at the U.S. site, Tesla is reportedly transferring engineers and production workers from its recently refurbished Shanghai factory to its plant in Vermont. According to the story, Tesla would send employees, in particular automation and control engineers, to help with attempts to boost production in Foman, where Tesla makes the Model 3, Model S, X, and I automobiles. About 200 employees are anticipated to travel to California for at least three-month missions, and the first workers are likely to leave soon. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that Tesla is attempting to boost production at its Foman factory, much like it did in Shanghai. A large part of Tesla's ability to increase production in China is due to better automation. The China P Passenger Car Association reported that Tesla shipped 83,000, 135 China-made EVs in September, shattering its previous monthly record. This quantity set a record for Tesla's Shanghai factory since manufacturing started in December 2019 and represented an increase of 8% from August. Additionally, due to Tesla's continued investment in production in China, it beat the previous record of 78,906 deliveries set in June. By the end of the year, Tesla had begun production after breaking ground in 2019. The factory is currently the biggest electric vehicle factory in the world by volume and produces 1 million vehicles annually. Along with the outstanding output produced in such a short amount of time, Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory is generating gross margins and costs that are among the lowest in the industry. Musk has frequently lauded the Tesla team in China for the plant's outstanding performance which led to Tesla's significant growth in the significant Chinese EV market. And now it appears that Tesla is attempting to bring automation to its Foment factory in California in an effort to duplicate the success of this factory here in the United States. At the Gigafactory Shanghai, which quickly surpassed other electric vehicle factories as the most prolific in the world, Tesla had great success increasing production. Additionally, it was able to achieve this through improving automation rather than adding more production lines. With production methods that are highly automated and reportedly 10 years ahead of its rivals, Tesla is currently the sixth most valuable corporation in the world. Tesla might reduce labor costs associated with production by increasing automation. In doing so, it can scale back demand by reducing more affordable electric automobiles. Based on the amazing characteristics of its vehicles, Tesla is already seeing significant demand. Therefore, by reducing costs, it might further boost demand for its cars in other areas in addition to the U.S. In response to this information, several Tesla bulls are said to have added more Tesla shares to their portfolios. One such person is Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Invest, who just purportedly purchased an extra 8 million shares of Tesla. Following the reports of the alleged ramp in the Tesla factory in fuel, Tesla will earn more money from high demand which it may then spend to upgrade the technology in its cars and grow manufacturing. The manufacturer already has structural battery packs planned to create light-away vehicles. Musk unveiled a new structural battery pack during Tesla's Battery Day, claiming that the airline industry was the source of its inspiration. In the past, airline companies installed gasoline tanks in the wings of their aircraft, adding weight and increasing the amount of fuel required to fly. Manufacturers of aircraft eventually realized that by using the wings as gas tanks, 
they could simply reduce the weight. Tesla will reportedly employ the same plan for its EV batteries, according to Musk. Previously, Tesla's battery cells were assembled in modules, which increased the weight of the vehicles. They are also assembled into a larger battery pack, adding even more mass, which is then fully loaded into the building. The Tesla engineers realized they could save a lot of weight if they eliminated modules and made the battery pack the structure since too much weight will result in too limited range for the Tesla cars. Since then, Tesla has used this battery design in its Model Y vehicles. By doing this, the automobile manufacturer can cut the amount of components needed in both the battery pack and the vehicle, allowing the manufacturing line for the battery pack to be less than half the size of earlier factories. More crucially, Tesla said that the structural pack and the new cells are anticipated to extend the Model Y's range by 16%, and reduce its overall weight by 10%, both of which would improve acceleration and handling. The structural battery pack construction is anticipated to increase the Model Y's performance and efficiency. Tesla introduced a new architecture for the electric SUV based on this new structural battery pack earlier this year, when it began manufacturing the Model Y at its Gigafactory in Texas. Tesla's new 4680 cell, which had become a structural component of the battery, and in turn, a part of the vehicle's chassis, makes the concept possible. Tesla may be able to produce even more batteries in the upcoming years with an effective ramp-up of these battery cells and advancements in the automation of its plants. The automaker has already announced plans to create an affordable EV that will be less expensive than a Model 3. Tesla's technical team has shifted its attention to a platform for a next-generation electric vehicle that will cost half as much as the Model 3 and Model Y. According to a previous statement by Musk, the manufacturer has been discussing a new platform that will allow for an electric car to cost $25,000 in the future. Although Tesla wants to produce more affordable EVs, the great demand for EVs and inflation have caused prices to rise instead. Musk, though, has stated that Tesla hopes to introduce the more affordable model as early as 2023. The market for electric vehicles is growing and Tesla is dominating this sector in terms of both market shares and profitability. Previously, Tesla acknowledged that, while charging $10,000 more for their vehicles, they typically cost $36,000 to manufacture and assemble. Tesla is the most successful automaker in the world based on this profit margin, although it will cost more to create the Model S Play and Model X than the Model 3, which starts at roughly $46,990. Tesla's gross margin on all of its vehicles is close to 30%, and only a select few firms, like Apple, are able to produce goods with such high profit margins. Despite the fact that BYD overtakes Tesla in terms of sales volume and has supplanted it as the most popular EV brand globally for the first time this year, Tesla still generates more profit per vehicle sold than its Chinese rival. BYD delivered about 1.2 million passenger EVs in the first three quarters of the year, which includes both plug-in hybrids and purely electric vehicles. Meanwhile, over the same time period, Tesla recently sold over 908,573 EVs. Tesla, however, is well ahead when looking at net profit per vehicle sold. Tesla recorded a net profit of $8.87 billion for the first three quarters, whereas BYD reported a net profit of 9.31 billion yen, or $1.14 billion using the going exchange rate at the time. Due to its concentrated focus on electric vehicles and strong brand, Tesla is able to boost pricing and pass on greater material costs to its customers, resulting in higher profit margins per vehicle. Therefore, Tesla will actually be able to produce more cars if it can increase production at its Foment facility allowing it to increase its market share in this region. Even if it loses, which is quite doubtful, it would only be by a small percentage. Currently, up to 600,000 cars are produced annually at Tesla's Foment facility. Even though the facility is currently operating at its greatest production rate in 30 years, Musk has stated that he believes there is still opportunity for expansion. What do you think of Vermont's Tesla expansion? Can the automaker repeat its Shanghai performance? Comment below and let us know. Click on the following video on your screen if you'd like to learn more about what Tesla has been up to recently. Then bye.